Yeah. All right, here we go. We're starting out with strides. Everybody knows the story. You know how to do it. Good strides. Try to move fast. All right. I try to move around the room. All right, let's go. Also, if you outstretch your arms a little bit, it makes it a little more challenging. So it's not like running. Don't bend your elbows. Let your arms go straight. It's harder to move a straight arm through space. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. You know, I, I really sincerely hope you guys are with me 11 weeks from now and we're celebrating. In fact, we have a little celebration at week six. Week six is what we do is we get together and we all choose a virtual background. And um, it's a good feeling. Week six, you, you can actually say that you're in shape. You, you have to make three workouts a week for six weeks in a row. But if you can do that, I promise you, I promise you, you'll be able to say that you are in shape. And, more, and, and probably in better shape than most people you know. Next up, jump squats. You really want to have good form. Make sure that you bring your arms back. Okay? Arms back and you punch. Now, when you, when you punch, you're going to punch so your arms look like this. Not like this. Don't reach up like that. Like this. All right, here we go. Ten seconds. Good squat jumps. Give me your best. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. Nice, Crania. Good, good. I see my outdoor ladies are outdoors. <laughs> Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, time. In my advanced class, I actually do the workout with my students. And um, on a couple occasions, I had some technical difficulties with the internet, with the application working. And, and but we adapted and my students told me that when i give them that 10 second countdown that it really inspires them it makes them work a little harder okay so when you do hear me counting down those last 10 seconds all right that's that's pedal to the metal all right burn it out whatever you've got left just give it to me for that last 10 seconds <clears throat> As the routine, as the advanced class gets a little harder, I'm too tired to talk. So I don't give them that 10 second countdown. <laughs> I mean, it's, it gets tiring. Next up, lateral shuffles. You get better at this one. You know, the more you do, and actually that, it's that way for all of these exercises. Just sit down low in a good squat. Don't let your back arch. 10 seconds, lateral shuffles, three, two, one, go. Good. I like to think of the ends. When you get to the right, you try to get back to the left. You don't hang out. There's no hanging out in lateral shuffles. It's all about moving, 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 moving. It's like hot potato. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time.
I see that a lot of you guys are putting together a few workouts in a row. You're starting to develop consistency, and that's really, really, really important. You know, I'm, I'm in the martial arts and fitness industry, and we have professional fighters. We have competitors that travel around the world. I, I incorporate this kind of conditioning in with them. And I see athletes that come in that have talent, and I see some that don't have as much talent. But I'll tell you, the fighters, the athletes, the people that come in and, and make the most progress are the ones that are consistent. Consistency wins the game every time. It's like the turtle and the rabbit. You guys all know the story. The rabbit, I'll take a, I'll, I'll take a turtle any day. If that turtle is consistent, that turtle shows up for every class, that turtle is going to win the race. I can't emphasize that enough. And this program is, is – is, is like the perfect example of, of, of that kind of race. It's slow. It's progressive. You just got to show up. All right, next up, high knee running or marching. You can do marching instead of running. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. And if you do marching, you want to try to get your knees up. Same thing with high knee running, too. High knee running is like a whole new exercise if you get those knees up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time. I'm going to do an outdoors workout one of these days. I just have to be sure that the camera's working, the microphone's working. Obviously, it's that it's not raining. <laughs> I'm also going to film for my school one of these days, my facility. I'm like you guys. I'm, I'm stuck at home, too. So this is, this is my basement. <laughs> There's like a bookshelf behind that curtain. Next up, jumping jacks or star jumps. Star jumps are very difficult. Don't do them unless, you know, you're confident. And um, they basically are jumping in the air and doing like an X and then landing in an I. You jump in the air and you land. All right. If that's if that's too hard, just do the jumping jacks. And and also, either way, if you do jumping jacks or star jumps, get your arms up. Right? Not just out here like this. Up like that. When you get your arms up and outstretched, it makes it more challenging. Okay? Five seconds. Two, one, go. <laughs> Kathleen, that's awesome. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Yeah, these exercises are a foundation for some more advanced variants that will be coming. Um, not soon, but eventually they'll be coming. We have a modified type of push-up that we do, a plyometric push-up. I'll, I'll introduce that possibly next week. And the straight blasts I'm sorry, the, uh, the burpees coming up are an introduction to that, getting your hands to the ground and planking. So be real careful on these burpees. Don't bend at your back. Let your hips fold to get you to the ground. And if your wrists hurt, be a little careful with this. You might not want to do this exercise. 
Maybe pick something else. Maybe the jumping jacks. Maybe those uh, lateral shuffles. Those lateral shuffles, I mean, those things always get me. Those are tiring. And uh, burpees, some people say burpees are like the king of the high intensity interval um, exercise because they involve your whole body and they do. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Nice, good form. I see your vet is back, Jennifer, Aprenia. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Hey, when you guys tell your friends how you guys are getting in shape, you can tell them that uh, June 1st, I'm probably going to be starting up another beginner's session. If they don't make it on board by the end of week two, it's going to be too late for them. Straight blasts. <clears throat> what I see from straight blasts is that Sometimes uh, beginners, what they do is they do these little little rabbit punches like this. You don't want to do that. You want to try to get your arms outstretched and the circles. Let me see if I can get myself. I can't see myself. Um, so it, it's, it's, they're like, it's like a choo-choo train, like a steam engine on a train. All right? The, just the, the arms do little circles like this. It's not straight. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm doing little circles. But my arms are bending and extending. Don't forget to breathe. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. In martial arts, we always tell our students that the power comes from the hips. Same thing with the straight blast. Your hips need to turn, and your arms will do what your hips tell them to do. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time. Anybody want to vote for that being tiring? <laughs> no, it's not that tiring. That was more tiring than it looked. <laughs> that's what I was that's what I was hoping somebody would say because that's exactly right. If you watch somebody doing that, you're like, eh, that don't look that bad. <laughs> At least they're not, you're not jumping in the air, you're not doing a burpee. How hard could that be? It's hard. It's tiring. Not only that, it's an authentic martial arts technique. You just throw those little punches in somebody's nose and start moving forwards, and, 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 and you can move people out of the way. You, you, can, you can defend yourself with that technique. So lunges, remember, these, these are a little difficult. So you you can either, you can step forwards the way I showed, and you can even do it like a reverse lunge. You can step behind you if you want. Um, or if you're feeling gung-ho, you can try to do the jumping. But the thing is, some people will try to do more than they're capable of. So you just, if you're ready for the jump, you do a few and then stop. Maybe just do some lunges. All right, five, four, three, two, one, Go. Cool. 
So maybe Kathleen, a little longer stride, a little longer step. There you go like that. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. Now I'll show you something that coaches and trainers look for when um, a student is in a lunge, okay? And, and in the martial arts, we do lunges all the time. We do lunge steps when we punch. We, uh, lunges are everywhere. So what, what we look for is the relationship between the knee and the ankle. And we want the knee somewhat over the ankle and not behind like this. And definitely not past like that. That is how you're gonna hurt your knee. Don't ever do this in life. Never be like that. Always be like that, okay? I have some other advice for shoulders. I'll give that to you guys on the next rest period. So we're at the top of the list. We're back to strides. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. One, go. Good strides, arm straight. I love this one. I really love this one. You can go so fast. You can try letting your strides go a little longer. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, time. I just realized that, um, oh no, this is right. Color's not right though. Um, I don't know what happened there, but uh, hey, another uh, useful tip in life to save your shoulders First of all, before I say anything about shoulders, uh, has anybody here ever hurt their shoulder? Good. Don't hurt your shoulders. <laughs> uh, what about your knees? You guys ever hurt your knees? Yeah, all right. Shoulders are like knees. It, you feel like crying when they hurt, okay? It's just horrible. So... Um, my advice for shoulders is go through life with your thumbs up. Like this is, this is how you want to use your arms. Don't ever, <laughs> don't ever find yourself like this with your arms. The countdown stopped. All right. I'll get it going. You guys see this right here? All right. Yeah. So we got 20 seconds and on the next rest period, I'll fix it. All right. This is what I mean by technical difficulties. <laughs> we got squats or squat jumps. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, guys, you got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time. All right, I'll take this time to fix that.
You guys have about a minute. This is the thing about uh, Zoom. Every now and then this kind of thing happens. There we go. Thirty seconds. You guys see that on your screen? Yeah. All right. Next up, lateral shuffles. Try to sit a little lower if you guys can. I hear those birds. Who's got the birds? Three, two, one, go. Woo. Kathleen, you're moving. Jennifer, woo! Five, four, three, two, one, time! Who votes for those being tired? Tiring. <laughs> yeah, those are tiring. I, I, I mean, literally, just putting your, your hips down just two more inches makes that twice as hard. And, and, and look, it's going to take like several weeks to really get good at these exercises. I started noticing around week three that I was like, feeling good on my jumping i was like gosh i feel like i'm jumping higher i i literally i wasn't even expecting it i was just like eh, I'm, I'm jumping higher you get better at everything you get better at jumping you get better at squatting Every, your whole body's going to get stronger all right next up high knee running or marching Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Woo. Anybody getting a little tired out there? All right. Next week. <coughs> Our rest goes down to 60 seconds. But you'll be able to do it. You will be able to do it. Now, if somebody new was just coming aboard, they would have a hard time. But if you've been, by the end of this week, here for at least four workouts, you're going to be ready. You're going to feel good. You're going to like go into it and feel like that's appropriate. It'll be challenging in the beginning, but guess what? At the end of those two weeks, you're going to be ready for the next step. I know that's hard to believe, but I'm, I promise you it, it, it's possible. Jumping jacks or star jumps. <clears throat> You want star jumps again, Kim or Kathleen? Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Tell us, go, go, go. Woo, good job, Kim. I preen you, those are fast. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, I see daylight. There's daylight. Three more exercises. Kathleen, I'm, I'm taking your advice, and I'm going to try that Groupon at 6.15 in the morning. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm 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 gonna credit you for that one. Okay. You might get a lot of working people. Yeah. <laughs> burpees. Burpees coming up. Remember to keep a little bend in your knee. Just a little bend in your knee. And get the motion from your hips. I'm glad my microphone's working. Does that sound good? Good. Yeah, it sounds good. Good. I, I got the idea from my kids. They use these things when they game on computers. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, go! Wow. Each and every one of you is doing the burpee. That's very good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, time. Straight blast coming up next. I have a, um, at my facility, we do kickboxing. And when this, uh, when, when the, Gyms are allowed to go back. We're going to institute kickboxing again. But um, I, I just wanted to mention that because one of my instructors there, some, one of my employees, he loves having his students do burpees. Just burpees. I mean, he just loves burpees. And um, I was thinking, yeah, he had to like get a t-shirt. You know, he loves burpees so much. I can tell him now, like, hey, Jim, <clears throat> my students are doing more burpees than yours. <laughs> All right, here we go. Straight blasts. Try to use your hips. Turn your hips. The faster you move your hips, the faster your punches. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Remember, don't hold your breath. Breathe it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, the last one. 
Hey, some other helpful advice to stay healthy and not get hurt is anytime the coach says, last one, make sure you own the technique, do it right, and don't just push yourself to finish when, when you're fatigued. Doing so can hurt you hurt yourself. You, you can hurt yourself doing that. Okay. So you might hear somebody say, come on, one more. Be careful in those moments. You stay on these lunges for a couple weeks, you'll be jumping. And remember what I said, too, about the knee being past your ankle. Don't let that happen. Usually what, what you can do is extend your stride a little bit. Just make your stride a little longer, and that will fix that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Wow, Aprenia, are you going for it? You look like you're going for it. Nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Yes. Hey, doing that for 30 seconds is pretty challenging, isn't it? The lunge jumps. Ooh, yeah. I saw, the hardest. For me, those are the hardest. Yeah, the, the lunge jumps are the hardest. And, like, that's not just my opinion. Lunge jumps are just beastly, very difficult. So, um, hey, the only thing I want to say is um, some of you guys have scheduled – your 14 day like conference with me. And if you haven't done that, you got to message me, like get a hold of me and just say, Hey Gary, uh, schedule me or let's schedule for the 14 day. It's just, it's just some time that eat, you and I can talk and just see how it's going. You know, I want to know like what you feel, if anything's hurting, uh, what's working, what's not working. Uh, and also I just want to give you um, just some real basic nutritional guidance. Uh, just some things on that. Not that I'm a nutritionist, but I have some helpful information that um, I think you guys really need to hear about that. All right. So get a hold of me. Um, you can email me, um, reply to my emails, whatever, and uh, we'll get that going. So, hey, thanks, ladies. I'll see you uh, Friday. <laughs> I lose track of the days now. Now You know what I mean? Like, it's it's like I used to like a Wednesday felt like a Wednesday. You just knew it was a Wednesday, right? Yeah, I don't feel that anymore. So uh hey, thanks. I'll see you guys.